Hey, my name is Jim Ashworth. I'm the Vice President of Sales with Lee Controls. Uh, we manufacture case hardening ground steel shafting, linear bearings, and a, a, an array of uh, complementing products. Right now I'm going to talk to you about uh, coatings that we use on our C1060 material and sometimes on our 440C stainless. I'll do them in the order of uh, corrosion resistance. What we have here is a C1060 shaft that has a black oxide finish. A black oxide finish is more or less a controlled rust. So this would be your first level in corrosion resistance on carbon shafting. After that would come chrome plated, uh, a nice shiny chrome plated shaft. Has very good corrosion resistance to it, uh, very economical to do, and it does not change the surface diameter that much. Uh, this has a lot of good applications. Uh, where corrosion may be a, a factor. So you would take this shaft, put oil on it because chrome does have micro cracks in the surface and you want to fill in those micro cracks. Once the surface is filled with oil and the micro cracks, then you have a very good corrosion resistant surface. If you want to take it the next step further, we have armaloy. Armaloy is a heavy duty uh, density chrome that is vapor blasted, uh, the shaft is vapor blasted prior to the uh, plating process. The vapor blasting allows the armaloy to get very good adhesion to the shaft. Uh, armaloy does have a salt spray content, it'll withstand a salt spray for a, a good long uh, time span. Uh, next to chrome, it's a lot more durable because it has better adhesion with the vapor blasting. This is a patented process. The regular chrome process is not, and neither is the black oxide. This armaloy process, we can do this to our C1060 material or our 440C stainless material. Uh, the 440C with armaloy would offer you the highest corrosion resistance available. There is another product they don't have here, which is called Radiant. Radiant looks very much like black anodized. It is a plating process that comes out of Korea or Japan and uh, in order to get it done we'd have to ship product to Korea or Japan so it becomes a very expensive plating to do but it has the highest corrosion resistance of any of the coatings offered today.